how's it going collectors uh today we got a special one we have a custom silver surfer uh but before that i want to give a shout out to the commissioner of this group uh that i got my uh custom thanos from it came with a broken hammer uh the ultimate millionaire this is not stormbreaker this is ultimate millionaire uh and i want to give a shout out to my boy eddie brock he uh patched it back together and actually it looks better than it did before so i want to give a shout out to the commissioner for uh for linking me up with uh, Eddie Brock and uh, shout out to Eddie Brock once again for putting this back together for me. Uh, and I'm gonna be uh, displaying this with Thanos soon. So thanks a lot. Yeah, so today we have a custom Silver Surfer, uh, a pretty nice art box for a custom piece. I mean, there's a lot of detail and stuff going on on this box. So here you have the uh, animated rendition of the actual statue. There's a picture of the sculpt. And you got some space stuff, moons and all of that. And what does this say on the side? It says cosmic. Then on the back, which is really cool. It's too big for the turntable. You got a picture of Galactus. That is pretty awesome. And then uh, another animated rendition of the statue. And uh, Annihilators, which is the... Uh, the band that he plays lead guitar in so this is nice real happy with that so let's check it out all right so this is the first layer here you got the board i believe that's actually metal sounds like it feels like it's pretty heavy it's about two feet long so it's a good size this is where your hand is going to key in and it's going to pretty much Hold the entire weight of the uh, statue and that's actually screwed down in there for more stability that's a good idea and you got a couple of arm switch out options this one is not a switch out this is the arm that actually uh, keys into the board so that looks good a little scuffing there on the knuckles um, muscle definition looks great that's where it's going to key into the board. This is one arm switch out. Once again, great definition, great shadowing for the muscle definition. Great anatomy too. Looks good. And then you have another arm switch out. And this one holds Milnir. See where he slides right there, right in there. That looks great. And so I did have a breakage on the hilt or the handle on this strap. I'm not sure if you can see where it's cracked right there. And I kind of glued it back together. Um, it's not really something I'm overly worried about. The definition on this hammer and handle is incredible. Uh, that is really awesome. And then you have the actual, I'm gonna leave that there so it doesn't put any pressure on that strap. And you have the actual hammer, hammer with the uh, description on it. Whosoever holds this hammer, blah, 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 you know it. All right, goes, once again, the detail. I mean, I'm not sure if that's coming out, but there are little Norse runes around the top. I, I don't even know how they got that in, uh, got that in there, but that is awesome. This is probably one of the best sculpted uh, millionaires I've ever seen. This looks really good. And so let's go to the second part. So here we got the second layer, which is just three pieces. So the awesome thing about this is it came with two bodies, uh, which was not the original plan. The commissioner came back later and just made that decision, but uh, it's really cool. So you have one with the sculpt, I believe, kind of gazing up, and that looks good. I need to dust them off. The uh, muscle definition on this is incredible. Paint application is great. Shadowing is great. And there's a, a slit right here, which I didn't even notice before. And that kind of is a groove for the uh, board, I believe. Otherwise, that's a problem. But I think that's what that is. Uh, this looks really good. Paint application and muscle definition is great. The anatomy is awesome. So that's one sculpt. 
and then you have a completely different body. So yeah, that groove is on the same same leg there. So that's what that's for, where the board kind of leans in on them. This one, the sculpt is a little different. Let's see if I can get them both here. And you can see the difference here. That is awesome. I do appreciate that. So you have two completely different bodies. Uh, and that looks really good. I prefer this one, I believe, but it's nice to have the option to switch out. And once again, it's pretty much the same body, same anatomy and paint application. Looks really good. So for the bad news, ugh, I'm not going to try to lift that base. It's a little heavy, but I have a breakage here. Not sure if you can see it, but I'll show it in close ups. Uh, it came broken. Um, I kind of tried to fix it myself. I believe I can fix it instead of having to get it professionally done. But otherwise, uh, the base is pretty awesome and I'll get some uh, better shots of it in close ups. Let's check it out. Put it together. All right, so this should be a pretty easy assembly. Um, I assembled it first so I know what I was doing and not look crazy as hell on video. But what I found to be easier is to go ahead and key in the arm that attaches to the board before putting it on the body. Um, and that thing was a little, it is a little tricky and you don't want to yank on it too hard and mess up the the hand but i found that to be a little easier to do and you got to remember that the entire weight of the the body will be basically sitting on this arm uh so i put that in and there's also a little trick on this board when you put it in it gets right into a little slot there you got to kind of wiggle it because it sits at a light angle and if you don't, if you're not careful, um, it'll just, you'll think it's in like that and it's not. You gotta kind of give it a tilt and there it goes. And it keys right in. And then from there, uh, we'll go with the uh, body I'm probably not gonna use first. And that keys right down into the arm. There are slight seams but the well number one it's in the back so you can't see it anyway but the way that they're done they fit the anatomy of the shoulder the deltoid where it connects to the tricep uh so that's done pretty well and then this is the arm there without milnir and so that looks pretty good and once again like i said there is a small seam there but it's it's uh made into the anatomy so you can't even see it. I'm looking at it right here. You can't see the scene. That looks great. And so let's go with the Milnir switch out, which technically I, I wasn't really sure how I felt about it because um, this version of Surfer didn't wield Milnir. The Fallen One version of Surfer wielded Milnir. But, you know, you can't go wrong with a Millionaire switch out, so I'll take it. Now, this is a little tricky to get in as well. Okay, so you got to kind of get, get that in the right spot. And I was worried about the play. That, wow, yeah, that doesn't look right, but I'm still going to do it. Uh, I was worried about the play on that. Um, but when it sits in, you can kind of move it and it doesn't fall. So that is that is real nice. So that's the first body and I'll get the measurements. I'm pretty sure they're pretty much the same. So you take this guy out, take the arm out with Milnir and gently take that off. And that is engineered uh, really great. I would have never thought to have the entire weight of the statue of the uh, piece sitting on just this arm and the board, but it works. And you put him in and see once again, that little notch that was on the leg fits right into that board and that gives it a little more st uh, stability so he's not moving at all. 
and then you throw Milner back in. Adjust that a little bit, and that is awesome. Looks really, really good. Real happy with that. This is where the breakage was. I have a little tape on that because I glued it. I'm gonna let it sit for a little longer before I take that off. But otherwise, uh, yeah, this is awesome. You can't even tell that the hilt was broke. I, broke, I, I fixed that. It looks really good. I'm real happy with it. Let's get some close-ups. Uh, before I go, I didn't get to get the uh, measurements for you guys. So let's check it out here. Uh, from the bottom of the base to the top of the board, it's a little bit above 27 inches. So it's pretty tall. Uh, the width is about a foot, about 12, 12 and a half inches. And then the depth is probably about the same. Yeah, right at 12, so not a real big footprint, which is a good thing. I actually think it'll fit in the base level of my uh, detox, which is where I'm gonna put it because Big Head Thanos took up a whole bottom shelf. But uh, this is really nice. Uh, thanks for coming and checking out my stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what I have coming next. I know I have a custom um, Superman coming from this group, and I also have a custom Hella and Odin. I'm waiting for uh, more info on. Um, I'm debating on getting uh, the Sideshow Venom piece. Um, but otherwise, uh, as soon as I get something, I'll, I'll get content right back out to you guys. Thanks again. Keep collecting. I'll do the same. Peace. Two cricket, Two cricket, dogs, cricket, dogs, cricket dogs.